package. Well, Target CEO Brian Cornell will stay on the job for another three years. This coming after Target's board of directors scrapped the company retirement age of 65 for the CEO role. And Rochelle, it's, it, I don't think this comes as maybe a huge surprise given how instrumental Brian Cornell has been to Target over the last eight years. He's been the CEO since 2014. He's really helped the company consistently build on its customer base. The company has had a lot of success under him. It's no secret that it's been a challenging couple of quarters here for Target as we started to see the consumer shift it, their spending trends. Also, the fact that retail companies in particular are dealing with these very high inventory levels. So it's going to be a challenging uh, time here for Target and some of its peers moving forward. But Brian Cornell staying at the helm, I think, is good news here for Target and for its shareholders. And it's actually surprising that actually most industries have done away with having a mandatory retirement age. And obviously CEOs staying in their jobs longer, not just obviously when companies are doing well, they want them to stay on, but also during times of volatility, you really want someone to sort of steer you through it. You don't want to have a lot of changes and upheaval when it comes to the CEO role at a time when, when things aren't going well, especially you have a rate rising environment. That's not the time you want to be pulling out a CEO. So not surprising, but obviously something that we'll probably continue to see in I don't know what that means in terms of succession, in terms of more people getting into those roles, but at least keep keeping the ship uh, on track. And if you're Brian Cornell, when you're making 19 million a year, I think it's a pretty easy decision, but you're right about the trend. The 3M, Merck, and Boeing all in the last year uh, moved their retirement age. So I think you're just seeing people more and more work to a later age. I think we're finding out more about the mental health benefits of staying sharp and keeping working well into your 70s. It's just a whole new world in terms of keeping that ticker fresh. But I also think it t ties to a, a Wall Street Journal story that talked about how CEOs today are more fit than ever before. I think they're just, they're, this is what they can control. We, we realized that it didn't used to be this way, 10 or 15, 20 20 years ago, you retired, you got old, you didn't do much. Now you're really taking control. You're looking at me like I was gonna I'm say, crazy. what does this mean for you? Are you gonna be working now until you're 80? I, I work out more now than I did when I was 25. I work okay. more now than I did when I was 20 years old. And I think I see that in a lot of my peers. We realize that's how we stay alive is by continuing to grind. Just one man spirit. <laughs> I know. I no, mean, we certainly have same. seen I, this trend. I don't think that is a surprise. I think it's very, you bring up that mental health aspect. It makes a lot of sense. It will be interesting to see, because we're in this very uncertain time on an econo from an economic standpoint, if we'll see more of these uh, CEOs sign on and how long they're willing to sign on for. I think that's going to be interesting. Whether or not if there's a recession a year on the way. Or two, a year yes. or two extension, or if we see them staying on. <laughs> For five or no ten contract years. for but Cornell. The big news, though, for you, or good news, I guess I should say for us, doesn't sound like you're going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Dave is going to be right here. Now, guys, for the I, next I know, I know we can, I know, I, <laughs> I know we could continue this probably for the next thirty years, but we will have to leave it there. <laughs>